Hey guys, welcome to a, another edition of Fan Talks. Um, today, a longer episode again, and a episode where I would like to talk about KPIs again, but um, very particular KPIs about the KPIs that from our perspective are essential once airlines are restarting their operations um, after the, the, the pandemic crisis or when, when they are able to restart operations again. And to, to give you a little bit of, of, of backstory first, um, from, from my point of view, this, this whole pandemic disaster is, is pretty much hard to say, but it, it, it's similar to a, to a football game. It has two half times. And currently we are still in, in, in the first half. Most of the, the airlines have shut down their operations. Um, all of them are working very hard on the, the financial ex, uh, aspects. You need those, uh, your financial experts um, to ensure cash flows, um, discuss state aid um, and all that stuff. And this is, this is extremely important, no, no doubt about it. Your, your financial experts right now are basically um, similar to, to the defense of a, of a football team. They are, they are backing up your, your company, your airline, your, 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 whole, um, your whole enterprise. They are they are the fundament more or less of a successful successful offense in order to to still keep that that um, football language. Um, now during the second half, um, it gets time for your offense. Um, that means your your flight planners, um, your your operational staff, commercial team, and and, and so on and so forth. Um, it's about getting getting your operations back on track step by step and. And I think we we can all agree that this this will be a huge huge challenge for for every airline. Um, CEO of Lufthansa um, a few days or weeks actually ago described that that endeavor as as setting up an entirely new airline operational wise. And and I think he's totally right with that. It is starting a complete new airline or restarting a a new airline. And there, there is a, a a famous football coach uh, at least in Germany. He once said. Um, a game has two half times, and he's absolutely right with that. That means you can't win a game if you're only playing well in one half. So, in, in my in my opinion, the same accounts for for airlines right now. They have to play a very good game in both halves, in the first half of um, all this financial backup, ensuring the cash flows, but also in, in the second half when it's about to restart operations, um, to get your airline back on track operational wise, and so on. Um, and I think the time, and again, we I think we all can agree on that the time after the, the this first wave, and hopefully it will be only we are only witnessing one 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 wave. The time after that first wave will, will be different than the time in in, in or the pre-COVID time. Um, I think that not one single passenger will will care about a thirty-minute delay once you restart your operation. Um, Nonetheless, I think it is it is right now it's the time for airlines to to prepare for their restart process. And and I talked to a lot of airlines, I know that they are currently already doing that. Um but but nonetheless, um, and, and very obviously from, from my point of view, many of the, the key performance indicators airlines were paying attention to in um in pre-COVID time, that, that they won't have the same relevance in a post-COVID time. This this will be for sure. Um, I'm, I'm profoundly convinced that that on-time performance, the misconnex quota, or, or even more sophisticated KPIs, um, aircraft readiness, security waiting time, uh, security waiting times, and all that stuff, they, they won't be critical. They won't be critical in the beginning, and at least for the for the upcoming month. Um, and this definitely accounts for for both the airline itself, but also the, the passengers. As I said, not one single passenger will will care about a 30-minute delay. Um, after staying at home for two, three, four months, they they will just be happy to to travel again, to will be able to travel again and to fly again. This, I'm totally convinced about that. Um, nonetheless, from from an airline point of view, and that's what I would like to talk about, it it will be essential to to monitor the process, this this, this restarting process, very very closely. Um, and in contrary to to a to pre-COVID times, it it requires a slightly different set of KPIs in order to ensure that the restarting process or the success of the restarting process can be can be monitored can can be managed uh, managed and what I would like to 
to do today is to, to give you six KPIs um, that from my point of view um, will be quite critical um, in order to manage the restart process, to restart the, the airline's operations again. And um, as is uh, important to, to, to mention, those KPIs are about operations. Um, of course, there are a lot of other KPIs, financial, commercial, HR KPIs, that are important, uh, important or essential to, 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 to monitor. But what, I would, what I'm talking about are only or solely the operational KPIs. What is important, what is essential, what is necessary to monitor your, the restart process of your operations. So let's, let's give you six, six examples um, of KPI that will play a, a very important role. First one is about a KPI called grounded aircraft or recovered aircraft. Um, so, so given the fact that currently most airlines have grounded the, the, the entire or at least a, a significant amount of their, of their aircraft fleet. And this, this, this KPI, grounded aircraft slash recovered aircraft, will be an essential indicator to monitor how far you've already got with your, with your restarting process. So the, the KPI makes sense as a, as a total value con concerning the, the entire fleet, for example, um, 25 out of 75 aircraft are grounded, or as a, as a percentage, 34% uh, of, of your aircraft are currently still grounded. Um, and additional to be, to be more positive or to give it a more positive touch, um, the KPI can also be visualized as a aircraft back to operations value um, that, that shows the numbers basically vice versa, um, how many aircraft are back to operation. And, and hopefully this, this, um, this um, graphic can be shown as a, as a bar chart, as a donut chart, will then slightly fill up once the operations is uh, more and more gaining traction and more and more aircraft are um, recovering, recovering and less and less aircraft are again crowned. So it gives you an overview how far um, are you on your way back to a, to a normal operations. Um, so KPI number one, which uh, will be essential is crowned aircraft um, or recovered aircraft. KPI number two, a, a very basic one, and we, we, we had that, or it was a essential KPI already in pre-COVID time. It is about the number of flights. Um, and even in pre-COVID time, I've, I've always been a, a big fan, um, I really have to say that, of, of this very, very basic KPI. It is basic, but it's, it's so powerful. It, it simply shows the number of scheduled flights for a day and the number of flights which um, have been already operated at, at this very minute as a, as a real-time KPI. And it is a very minimalistic, straightforward KPI, super simple, everybody understands it, but it perfectly, perfectly reflects the, the heart, the heart of your business, the heart of your operation. This is what is about performing flights. And in, in a post-COVID time, this, this KPI, from my point of view, gains, gains even more importance since it, it shows the, the heartbeat, the heartbeat of your operation and hopefully gains traction with every day, every week you're performing more flights. And um, to, to make it even more tangible, you can um, show a relation to, to, to pre-COVID time, how many flights have been performed in pre-COVID time, how many flights are you performing right now um, for a day, for a week, for a month, and then again can track how far you are on your way back to a, to a normal operations um, to, to, to monitor, to manage that. KPI number two, number of flights, basic, but from my point of view, extremely essential and also kind of motivational for, for your employees when they can see, okay, last week we, we've performed 50 flights, now it's, it's already 100, next week we are performing 400. Hopefully it will be that way. Um, it, it can be super, super motivational, yet so uh, such, an, such an easy KPI. Um, same accounts for KPI number three, um, which will be important, the number of passengers. Um, this similar to the number of flights. This is a, a fundamental KPI, has been already uh, um, essential in, in pre-COVID time, but again, it, it perfectly reflects the operations. Um, and again, it also makes sense to provide this comparison um, to the time, to the pre-COVID time, um, how many passengers are you transporting right now at a, at a typical Monday, compare, uh, at, this, at, this, at this Monday or Tuesday compared to a typical Monday pre-COVID time or for an entire week, for an entire month. A month um, again, it has some motivational aspects in it to show the hopefully growing numbers of passengers again. Um, this will definitely create a, um, a motivational effect since, since everybody really can, can witness this revitalization um, of the operations with a, with a growing number um, of, of passengers. Um, KPI number, number, is it number three, number four? 
think number four, number four, um, recovered routes, um, a performance indicator that more or less reflects how far your efforts to reach pre-COVID operations have been executed in terms of your network. Um, you know, the KPI shows the number of operated routes in relation to pre-COVID time. Um, again, a visualization of total values makes sense, but also of a percentage um, is, is quite reasonable just to show how many routes you are currently operating compared to um, pre-COVID time. And the last KPI, uh, sorry, the KPI, I'm a bit, a bit confused with the, with the, with the uh, numbering today. KPI number five, we have two KPIs to go. KPI number five, um, similar to, to the last one, it's about recovered or restricted countries. And this especially um, is essential for large carriers serving a significant number of, of countries. So it will be of particular interest for them. And it, it will be very essential um, in, uh, in case that there, there will be a direct back to normal and probably some countries are facing a second wave and are closing their, their airports again, some are not. So it will give you a, a overview what what is possible right now, how many countries are restricted, how many countries are already recovered. And of course you can do the same with, with your routes. So this, um, you can, can use both of it or only one of them, um, but still um, I consider them as, as very essential to give you not only an, an overview of your your, your own performance, your own operations, but a broader overview of what is happening um, right now in terms of, of, of Corona, in terms of COVID-19. And now finally, KPI number six, sorry for the conf confusion. Um, I um, consider the KPI of utilization or call it seat load factor as essential um, once you're planning or you're, you're restarting operation. Um, I, I'm totally aware um, once the operation is, is about to restart, Airlines, airlines in the first step won't care about their, their seat load factors, no doubt about it. Um, but nevertheless, I, I genuinely um, believe that it is essential to have a close eye on that on, on seat load factor right from the beginning. Um, contrary to pre-COVID, the focus won't be to, to maximize it in the first step. But again, the KBI provides a, a very comprehensive overview of how close your airline is back to normality. Um, and that's why I think um, this should be a KPI you should have a close eye on once you're restarting your, your KPI. So this will be the, the six KPIs from my point of view that are essential to monitor your, your restarting process, crowded aircraft or recovered aircraft, the number of flights, the number of passengers, um, the recovered routes, um, recovered or restricted countries, and as a final KPI, the seat load factor. That of course doesn't mean that um, other KPIs are not essential, but I consider those six, K six KPIs as very essential from an operational point of view in order to have a comprehensive overview of your of your restarting um, of your restarting process. Um, as always, um, let me know your thoughts about that. Would be happy to to get your feedback. Hope I could provide some value with that input. Um, yeah, and always as always, give me some feedback. Hit me up on on Twitter. Send me an email. Um, I'm happy to discuss that further with you. Um, Till next time with Ben Talks, I um, would love to welcome you again. Cheers and bye-bye.